Now to a new era in American spaceflight. Tonight, a SpaceX rocket that blasted off early this morning is streaking toward the International Space Station. It's a trial run of a commercially developed crew capsule. Mark Strassman was at the Kennedy Space Center for liftoff. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, liftoff. Let's do launch. The Falcon 9 rocket lifted both its Crew Dragon capsule and hopes that Made in America space travel is back. Ten minutes after a picture-perfect launch, the SpaceX rocket's first stage successfully touched down on a recovery ship 300 miles off the Florida coast. By then, the Crew Dragon capsule was already orbiting Earth at five miles per second and headed for a docking with the International Space Station Sunday morning. SpaceX founder, Elon Musk. A little emotionally exhausted because uh, uh, that was super stressful, but it worked so far. Through next Friday, the Crew Dragon must meet a series of milestones, dock and undock with the space station, re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, and splash down off the Florida coast. Since the space shuttle fleet was retired in 2011, NASA has had to rely on the Russians for rides to the space station. But if all goes well with today's mission, SpaceX could taxi two astronauts to the station as early as July. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. What today really represents is a new era in spaceflight. Bridenstine told us before the launch, NASA is no longer in the space race business. It is less relevant as far as the date. Uh, what is more relevant is the safety of our crew. So we're going to make sure we do things right, period, end of story. On this mission, the only passenger is a dummy, a smart dummy named Ripley outfitted with sensors to measure the impact of the ride for its eventual first flyers. NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley. So seeing a success like this definitely gives us a lot of confidence in the future. From our standpoint, this is, this is what you want to see. You want to see the team hitting its stride uh, as we get ready to put people on these things. It's a six-day mission, and the Crew Dragon is scheduled to splash down back on Earth next Friday morning. And if successful, proof that in this new space age, it's companies rather than countries that would lead the way. Rena? An exciting opportunity nonetheless. Thank you, Mark.